The Telegram Messenger goes to a completely unprecedented level of security and privacy of users and presents new tools for convenient communication. What surprises does the new version of Telegram have? Why should spammers and scammers be wary of it? You will find all the details in my big Telegram 9.2 review. The Telegram 9.2 update includes a new privacy setting responsible for auto-deleting the chats. Users can now set up a global timer to automatically remove messages in all new chats. To do this, you just need to go to Settings, then to Privacy, and select the auto-delete messages. There are many options for the timer – one day, a whole week, or a month. In addition, you can select another period by clicking on the appropriate button. It's worth pointing out that by setting the timer, auto-delete applies only to the new chats. As for the old ones, they can still be set separately in each chat. If you turn on the global timer, auto-delete will affect not only personal chats with people, but also groups that you've created. So be careful of it. I will also note the fact that the timer will start working even if you weren't the first to start the conversation. Telegram also points out that auto-delete has become even easier to set up for small groups. It can now be set by any member who is allowed to edit the name and photo of the group. Telegram itself states that every user can now establish control over their future digital footprint in this way. If you are careful about your privacy, you definitely need this kind of timer. I will not set such restrictions for all chats because very often, after some time in the chats with close people, you can find something interesting and useful for you, both in messages and media files. And with this feature, all of your data, alas, will not last long. However, setting up auto-delete for specific chats will definitely work. Another innovation from the Messenger brings Telegram users to an equally new level of privacy. Along with the 9.2 version, the developers launched the sale of virtual anonymous phone numbers. Now it'll be possible to register in Telegram without a SIM card. So you can have a Telegram account without a SIM card and log in using blockchain-powered anonymous numbers available on the Fragment platform. A random number there would cost you 9 ton, which is about $17. This number, starting with plus 888, will be assigned to your account and you can safely log into your Telegram. The difference of such virtual numbers from others, which can be purchased on the internet and registered in the messenger, is that the virtual number from Telegram is your property, and you won't have to worry that it can be used by another person, as it often happens with the services which provide virtual numbers. Besides, virtual numbers can be put up for auction, just as it happens with the usernames the Telegram launched last month. So from now on, you can also participate in buying and selling virtual numbers. I'm not gonna go into details here, but I'll provide more in a separate video. As the Messenger team says, virtual numbers are the beginning of a new era of privacy in Telegram. And along with auto-delete new chats and long-known features such as self-destructing pictures, copy protection in channels and delete all chats feature, Telegram is establishing a truly unprecedented level of privacy. You cannot argue with that, but many competitors still have a long way to go. In the meantime, you can give this video a thumbs up and we're moving on. There are other amazing new features in the update. So in a previous update, Telegram allowed group admins with more than 200 members to create chat rooms. Now in the 9.2 version, topics as they are officially called in the Messenger, have received significant improvements. In particular, they are now available for groups from 100 members or more, instead of 200. Besides, a new panel has been added. When entering a certain forum or group with topics, you will now see a feed with icons of other chats on the left for a quick access. It looks so cute and kinda convenient. And if you want to go to the last active room directly from the chat list, just click on it, it will be highlighted in grey. Moreover, groups now have a default topic called General, which holds the group's service messages and pre-topic message history. This topic is available for all group members, so they can find all their messages, but admins can rename the topic or hide it from the main list. 
In addition, a group with topics has a unified chat. To enter, just go to it by clicking on the three dots in the upper right corner on the screen. There are some improvements there as well. Now, in the unified chat above each message, the room is displayed in which the same message was left. Just click on the name of the room to go to the particular topic. And to help you navigate the list of topics, badge counters for topics you've already visited will use a bolder accent color, while the ones you've never opened will use a lighter color. And also groups can now have up to five pinned topics, and each topic supports unlimited pinned messages. In general, everything is just amazing, improvements are useful and essential, but where is the opportunity to create topics for groups that are attached to the channels? Many admins have been waiting for this one, and I hope we will see it in a month. A tougher fight against spammers in Telegram will not hurt. In the new version, the Messenger introduced an aggressive anti-spam mode, which is designed to fight spam in groups even more thoroughly. Now admins of groups with over 200 members can choose to turn on the new aggressive mode for the automated spam filters. There is also a small note indicating that Telegram algorithms will weed out even more spam, but sometimes they can miss. You can track anti-spam mode activity in the Recent Activity tab, which is located next to the anti-spam system Enable Switch. In the event of a false positive filter, you can report an error, thereby helping to improve the filtering. It remains only to wish good luck to the new algorithms because there is more than enough spam in Telegram, and I hope they will work properly for the benefit of the entire Telegram community. And those users who don't have their own username and their phone number is hidden from all users can now create temporary invitation QR codes. They can be created by going to the settings in the Messenger and clicking on the briefcase icon. If another user scans this code, they can quickly add you to their contact list without knowing your phone number. Android users can rejoice about the updated menu of memory usage. To remind you, it's located in Data and Storage. Now it shows how much space each chat is using on your device. And in addition to deleting media from the cache from individual chats, either all together or from a particular category. For example, you can delete only photos, videos, music or files. Such a menu has been available on iOS devices for a long time. And you know, it's super cool that certain interface elements have become common for all platforms. In turn, iOS Telegram users can enjoy Emoji Search that was already available on Android. In the Emoji panel at the top, there is now the Search tab. You can enter your request and get different options. On the official website, the Telegram developers say that if the Emoji is missing, everyone can offer their own version on the translation platform. Amazingly, but Telegram Premium users received only one extremely small thing in this update. So those who particularly complained about the fact that Telegram has been doing everything only for Premium users are wrong. For the Premium subscription in Telegram 9.2, only 10 new sets of custom emoji were introduced. However, everyone got new interactive emoji. Let me remind you that it's the type of emoji that you can send separately in the chat, and it will play a full-screen effect when you click on it. Now you can interactively shake hands in Telegram, write and send an emoji with a halo over your head. These same emoji are also available to all users as reactions, so check the emoji panel, the list should have increased. The Telegram team also animated another pack of emojis, including flags, everyday objects like these, and some other more abstract ones. At the end of the post on the official Telegram website, they say that the developers are already working on the new update and hint that it may not even be the last one this year. So share in the comments what you think of a new update, what did you like the most, and what do you think was the weakest solution? I'm really looking forward to your thoughts. Let's chat. And also I'll be grateful for your support. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, please. Appreciate it. It's the Teleblog channel. Subscribe and be trendy.